Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A little. Are you American? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, are you American? No. Do you speak English? A little, but not very well. How long have you been here? Two months. What do you do for work? I'm a student. How about you? I'm a student too. Excuse me, what's your name? My name is Jessica. What's yours? John. You speak English very well. Thank you. Do you know what time it is? Sure. It's 5.10. What did you say? I said it's 5.10. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, Michael. Hi, Amy. What's up? I'm looking for the airport. Can you tell me how to get there? No, sorry. I don't know. I think I can take the subway to the airport. Do you know where the subway is? Sure. It's over there. Where? I don't see it. Across the street. Oh, I see it now. Thanks. No problem. Do you know if there's a restroom around here? Yes, there's one here. It's in the store. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Okay. What do you want to do? I'm hungry. I'd like to eat something. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to an Italian restaurant. What kind of Italian food do you like? I like spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? No, I don't. But I like pizza. David, would you like something to eat? No, I'm full. Do you want something to drink? Yes, I'd like some coffee. Sorry, I don't have any coffee. That's okay. I'll have a glass of water. A small glass or a big one? Small, please. Here you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Mary, would you like to get something to eat with me? Okay. When? At ten o'clock. Ten in the morning? No, at night. Sorry, that's too late. I usually go to bed around ten. Okay. How about one thirty? No, that's too early. I'll still be at work then. How about five? That's fine. Okay. See you then. All right. Bye. Jennifer, would you like to have dinner with me? Yes, that would be nice. When do you want to go? Is today okay? Sorry, I can't go today. How about tomorrow night? Okay, what time? Is nine all right? I think that's too late. Is six okay? Yes, that's good. Where would you like to go? The Italian restaurant on 5th Street. Oh, I don't like that restaurant. I don't want to go there. How about the Korean restaurant next to it? Okay. I like that place. Hi, Mark. Hi. What are you planning to do today? I'm not sure yet. 
Would you like to have lunch with me? Yes. When? Is 11.30 okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? I said 11.30. Oh, I'm busy then. Can we meet a little later? Okay. How about 12.30? Okay. Where? How about Bill's Seafood Restaurant? Oh, where is that? It's on 7th Street. Okay. I'll meet you there. Hello, sir. Welcome to the French Garden Restaurant. How many? One. Right this way. Please have a seat. Your waitress will be with you in a moment. Hello, sir. Would you like to order now? Yes, please. What would you like to drink? What do you have? We have bottled water, juice, and Coke. I'll have a bottle of water, please. What would you like to eat? I'll have a tuna fish sandwich and a bowl of vegetable soup. Chris, where are you going? I'm going to the store. Really? I need to go to the store, too. Would you like to come with me? Yes. Let's go together. Would you like to go now or later? Now. What? Now would be better. Okay. Let's go. Should we walk? No. It's too far. Let's drive. Laura, what are you going to do today? I'm going shopping. What time are you leaving? I'm going to leave around 4 o'clock. Will you buy a ham sandwich for me at the store? Okay. Do you have enough money? I'm not sure. How much do you have? $25. Do you think that's enough? That's not very much. I think it's okay. I also have two credit cards. Let me give you another ten dollars. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Hello, Richard. Hi, Karen. How have you been? Not too good. Why? I'm sick. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's not serious. That's good. How's your wife? She's good. Is she in America now? No, she's not here yet. Where is she? She's in Canada with our kids. I see. I have to go now. Please tell your wife I said hi. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Robert, this is my friend, Mrs. Smith. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mrs. Smith, what do you do for work? I'm a doctor. Oh. Where do you work? New York University Hospital in New York City. What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach English. Where? At a high school in New Jersey. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 32. Excuse me. Hello, sir. May I help you? Yes. Can I see that T-shirt on the top shelf, please? Sure. Here it is. How much does it cost? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's too much. How about this one? It's on sale for only thirty-five dollars. I don't like that one. How about the one next to the black gloves? It's very similar to the one you'd like. That's nice. How much is it? 
thirty dollars. That'll be fine. Is this color okay, or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. Do you need any more of these shirts? Yes. How many do you want? I'll take two more, a red one and a white one. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Holiday Inn. Do you know where it is? Sure. It's down this street on the left. Is it far from here? No, it's not far. How far is it? About a mile and a half. How long does it take to get there? Five minutes or so. Is it close to the subway station? Yes, it's very close. The subway station is next to the hotel. You can walk there. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the mall? Sure, I used to work there. Go straight for about a mile, then turn left at the light. The mall will be on your right. Do you know the address? Yes, the address is 541 Main Street. Can you write it down for me, please? No problem. Is it faster if I take Highland Avenue? No, that way is longer. There are more stoplights on that street. I think you're right. Thank you. What's today's date? It's July 5th. When are you going on vacation? I'm leaving on Sunday. We're going to Canada. Really? The day after tomorrow? That's very soon. Yeah, I know. How long are you going to stay there? About two weeks. When are you coming back? I'm coming back on the 17th. All right. Have a nice trip. Joseph, who is that woman? That's Susan. What does she do for work? She's a lawyer. Is she American? No, but she speaks English fluently. She's really tall. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. We're friends. Who's that man standing next to her? Which man? That short guy on her right. What's his name? Oh, that's Matt. He's really good looking. Yeah. Do you know him? I don't know him, but I think my sister does. Is he married? Yes, he's married. I remember now. I met him before. Brian, do you know how to speak English? Yes. Where did you learn? I learned in college. You speak really well. Thank you. How long have you been in the U.S.? Three weeks. Is your wife with you? Yes, she just got here yesterday. Have you been to California before? No, I've never been there. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? Yes, I went there once on a business trip. Jeff, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want to come with me? I think the supermarket is closed now. Oh, when does it close? It closes at 7 on Sundays. That's too bad. Don't worry. We can go tomorrow morning. It opens at 8. All right. What do you want to do now? Let's take a walk for a half an hour. My sister will be here at about 8.30, and then we can all go out to dinner. Where does she live? She lives in San Francisco. How long has she lived there? I think she's lived there for about 10 years. That's a long time. Where did she live before that? San Diego. 
Charles, do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids, a boy and a girl. What are their names? Jack and Stephanie. How old are they? Stephanie is eighteen and Jack is twenty-four. Are they in school? Stephanie is. She goes to college in Washington and Jack works in Florida. What does Stephanie study? She studies English. Is she here now? No, she's at school. William, do you like studying English? I like studying English, and I can read well, but speaking can be difficult. It's not that bad. If you talk to your American friends every day, you'll learn quickly. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you want to know? I have my book from class here. How do you say this word? Laptop. Sorry. I don't understand. What does that mean? A laptop is a type of computer that you can carry with you. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. Can you say it again? Laptop. Laptop. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, that's right. That's very good. Thanks. And this word? How do you pronounce this? That word is pronounced kitchen. Thanks so much. You're a good teacher. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Not good. I lost my wallet. Oh, that's too bad. Was it stolen? No, I think it came out of my pocket when I was in the taxi. Is there anything I can do? Can I borrow some money? Sure. How much do you need? About fifty dollars. That's no problem. Thanks. I'll pay you back on Friday. That'll be fine. Here you are. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some books, and then I'm going to the gas station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Okay. I'll wait for you. Hello? Hi. Is James there, please? Yes. Who's calling? Linda. One moment, please. Okay. Hello? Hi, James. It's Linda. Hi, Linda. What are you doing now? I'm working. Are you busy? Yes. It's been really busy here all day. What time do you get off work? 8.30. I'll call you back after 8.30. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. David, what have you been up to lately? I went on a trip with my family last week. Really? Where did you go? We went to Europe. What cities did you go to? London, Paris, and a few other cities. Did you go to Berlin? No, we didn't go there. I'd like to go there next time. I think this summer is a good time to visit Berlin. It's a beautiful place, and the people there are very nice. That's what I've heard. I went there last year. If you want, I can give you some information I have about the city. Thanks. Sarah, what did you do today? I went shopping. Did you buy anything? Yes, I bought a few things. What did you buy? I bought this coat. Do you like it? Yes, I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Where did you buy it? At the mall on 5th Street. Was it expensive? No, it wasn't expensive. It was on sale for $20. That's cheap. I know. It was a really good deal. 
I don't think you'll need to wear it for a while. It's been really hot lately. Paul, what kind of music do you like to listen to? All kinds, but mostly pop, rock, and classical. Why? I have tickets to a show. Do you want to go with me? What kind of music is it? Pop. It's Mariah Carey. When is it? At eight tomorrow night. Yeah, I'd like to go. Do you think we should have dinner first? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's eat at the restaurant across the street from my apartment. Oh, I think I know the place you mean. We ate there last month, right? Yeah, that's right. You have a good memory. Lisa, would you like to go to the library with me? Okay. Do you think we can go buy a newspaper first? Sure. First we'll go buy a newspaper, and then we'll go to the library. Are we going to walk or drive? The weather is really nice today. Let's walk. The weather is good now, but I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon. All right. Then let's take an umbrella. Is your brother coming with us? No, he's still sleeping. Wow, it's already ten. He must have been up late last night. Yeah, he didn't come home until twelve. I hope he can come later. I hope so too. I'll give him a call when we get there. How do we get to the library from here? It's straight down this road on the left, next to the museum. It takes about ten minutes. Hi, Melissa. Are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in Washington D.C. How about your mother? My mother died two years ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here, and my aunt and uncle live about thirty miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York, and a sister who lives in Boston. Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. Usually, just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I can't find my glasses, and I can't see anything. Can you help me find a few things? No problem. What are you looking for? My laptop. Do you see it? Yes. Your laptop is on the chair. Where's my book? Which one? The dictionary. It's under the table. Where's my pencil? There's a pencil in front of the lamp. That's not a pencil. That's a pen. Oh, sorry. There is a pencil behind the cup. How about my backpack? Do you know where that is? It's in between the wall and the bed. Where are my shoes? They're on the left side of the TV. I don't see them. Sorry, I made a mistake. They're on the right side of the TV. Thanks. Oh, and here are your glasses. They were next to your cell phone. Excuse me. Check, please. Okay. How was everything? Very nice. Thank you. Would you like this to go? Yes. Can you put it in a plastic bag? Sure. No problem. Here you are. That'll be twenty-five dollars. Do you take credit cards? Yes. We accept Visa and Mastercard. Okay. Here you are. Thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. Here you are. Here's your receipt. Thank you. You're welcome.
Please come again. Next, please. Hello, how can I help you? I'd like to buy a ticket for New York. Would you like one way or round trip? Round trip. When will you be leaving? When does the next plane leave? In about two hours. I'd like a ticket for that flight, please. First class or coach? Coach. Okay. Let me check availability. I'm sorry. Tickets for that flight are sold out. How about the one after that? Let me see. That one has seats available. Would you like me to reserve a seat for you? Yes, please. That'll be $120. Okay. Thank you. Here's your change. Michelle, can you help me clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? Which cup? The red one. Put it on the table. How about this fruit? Oh, that goes in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me, please. I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. The trash is full. All right. Then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Okay. Now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. This looks like a nice restaurant. Yeah, it is. I come here all the time. Let's sit over there. Okay. Can you pass me a menu, please? Sure. What are you going to have to drink? I'm going to have a glass of beer. How about you? I think I'll have a glass of wine. Do you want to order an appetizer first? Not really. Maybe we can just order some bread. Okay. What are you going to have to eat? I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Can you recommend something? Sure. I've had the steak and lobster before. They're both very good. I think I'll have the lobster. What are you going to have? I'm not that hungry. I think I'm just going to have a salad. I'm going to go to the bathroom. When the waitress comes back, will you order for me? Sure, no problem. Hi, Anna. Come in. Wow, your apartment is a mess. I know. I didn't have time to put things away before you got here. Look, are those all your clothes on the couch? Yes. Are they clean? Actually, most of them are dirty. I haven't done laundry in a while. I usually wait until I can do it at my parents' house. My sister and I usually go to the laundromat down the street. Why don't you go there? I know I should, but that place isn't very convenient. You have to wait a long time. Yes, I know. I have to do it every week. Anyway, are you ready to go? No, I'm not ready yet. I still have to brush my teeth and wash my face. Can you wait a few minutes? Okay, but please hurry. I think the restaurant is closing soon. Pam, where's the closest ATM? It's not that far. Do you see that yellow building over there? The big one or the small one? The big one. Yes. It's right next to it, on the right. Do you know if there's a convenience store around here? I don't think there's one around here. The closest one is on 3rd Street, but that's probably closed now. I really need to get some things before I leave. Well, you could go down to 22nd Street. 
There are a lot of stores down there that are open 24 hours a day. Can I take the subway to get there? Yes, but that'll probably take about a half an hour. You should just take a cab. Won't that be expensive? No, from here, I think it's only about five dollars. Professor, where's Canada? Canada is north of here. Can you show me on the map? Sure, look here. Canada is north of the United States. Oh, I see. Where's Mexico? Mexico is south of the United States. How about Connecticut? Where's that? Connecticut is east of New York. What state is west of Pennsylvania? Ohio. Okay. Where's Los Angeles? Los Angeles is in California. It's southeast of San Francisco. Where's Boston? Boston is in the northeast part of the country. Where is Las Vegas? Las Vegas is in the southwest. Hi, Maria. Did you have breakfast yet? Yes, I ate at the hotel with my son and my husband. Oh, they have good food there. What did you have? I had some cereal, fried eggs, and orange juice. How was it? The food didn't taste very good, and actually, I don't feel very well now. That's too bad. Do you want to take a break? No, I'm going back to the hotel at lunchtime to lie down. Okay. I'm going to the drugstore later. Is there anything I can get for you? No, that's okay. I think if I rest for a little while, I'll feel better. Anne, what do you want to do tonight? I'd like to go see a movie. I heard Titanic is playing at the movie theater. Oh. I've heard that's a good movie. What time does it start? 6.30. It's a long movie. I heard it lasts for about three hours. Will you come and pick me up? What time? I think we should get there early, because they might be sold out. Is five okay? Yes, that'll be fine. I'll meet you at your house at five. Do you want to get something to eat before the movie? I'm not sure if there will be enough time for that. We can have popcorn and hot dogs at the theater if you want. I don't like the popcorn they have there. I think they put too much salt on it. Okay, then. I'll pick you up a little earlier, and we can go to the Thai restaurant next to the theater. Is that okay? Yes, I like that place. How do you like the food? It tastes really great. Did you cook it? Yes. I made it this afternoon. Would you like some more? Okay. Just a little, though. I'm really full. Oh. Would you like some soup instead? What kind is it? Tomato and rice. Have you had that before? No. This is my first time. How does it taste? It's good. Try it. What do you think? Wow, it is good. Did you make that also? Yes. You're a really good cook. Thanks. Next time I'll make chicken soup for us. That sounds good. Did you study cooking in school? No, I learned by myself. I have a good cookbook that I read when I have time. Kelly, will you help me take these things to the car? Okay. Which car do you want me to put them in? Bring them to my wife's car. Which one is hers? The blue SUV in front of the Honda. What should I take first? That chair over there. But please be careful with it. It was a gift from my mother-in-law. Don't worry. I won't drop it. Wow, it's really heavy. I don't think I can move it by myself. Let me help you with that. I don't want you to hurt your back. 
Where are you taking all this stuff? Didn't I tell you? We're moving to Florida. You're moving now? I knew you were moving, but I thought you said you were moving next month. Yes, that's true. But my wife found a new apartment on the Internet the other day, and she wants to move right away. Judy, your husband has a really nice car. Thanks. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going? We're going to visit my sister in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? About a year ago. She lives in an apartment on 3rd Street, across from the public library. I see. It's almost five now. Don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take the subway. The subway only takes about 20 minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to it now. Doesn't your mother live in the city? Yes, she's lived there for about 10 years. I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. I know what you mean. It's hard to find anything that's reasonable now. Have a good time. Next time you're free, give me a call, and we'll go play poker. See you later. Jim, I heard you took a trip to San Diego. Is that right? Yeah. I just got back this morning. That sounds really nice. What did you do there? Well, we were only there for three days, so we didn't do too much. We went shopping and went out to dinner a few times, and at night we walked around the city with some friends. Did you take any pictures? Yes, I have them with me. Do you want to look at them? Sure. I love looking at photos. This one is of my wife and me on the beach. And this one is our daughter Emily, standing next to my wife. Your daughter looks like her mother. I know. They look very similar. Where was this picture taken? That was taken at the train station before we left. Did you have time to go to the zoo? No, not this time. We went there last time. It looks like you all had a nice time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to order some flowers. Who are they for? They're for my wife. Her name is Samantha. What kind of flowers would you like? I don't know. I don't know too much about flowers. Can you recommend something? Okay. What's the reason you're sending her flowers? Today's her birthday, and she told me she wants me to buy her flowers. Do you know what kind of flowers she likes? I'm not sure. I know I should know that, but I can't remember right now. Well, they're for your wife, so I think you should give her roses. Roses will be fine. What color? I think red would be nice. Do you want to pick them up, or should we deliver them? Can you deliver them, please? What's the address? 241 Main Street. Hello? Hi. Is Heather there, please? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Is this 617-228-2289? Yes. Who are you looking for again? Heather Johnson. Oh, I thought you said Laura. Sorry about that. This is the right number, but Heather's not here right now. Do you know where she went? She went to the store to buy some groceries. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Would you please tell her Eric Martin called? Hi, Eric. This is her roommate, Kathy. I met you a couple of months ago at the Christmas party. Oh, yes. 
How are you? Good. Heather will be back in about twenty minutes. I'll tell her you called. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Hello? Hi, Tina. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. How's the weather there today? It's really cold. It snowed all day and the school's closed early. What's the temperature? It's thirty degrees now. It was even colder this morning. Have you heard what the weather is going to be like tomorrow? I was watching the news a little earlier. They said it's probably going to snow tomorrow. I really don't like the winter. I wish it were summer. Me too. How's the weather where you are? It's not too bad, but it's pretty cold here too. It was about forty five today, and it rained this afternoon. I heard it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow. It's almost Christmas. What are you doing this weekend? Nothing special, just working. Why do you ask? Well, I still haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I'm not sure if I can. Work has been really busy lately. Why don't we go on Friday instead? Friday's not good. I think the stores will be very crowded, and I have to work. Okay, then let's try to go this weekend. I should know if I can go by Friday. Is it okay if I call you then? Yeah, that's fine. What's your number? Two two three 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 one eight eight two eight. Let me give you my email address too. It's tom eight six one at gmail dot com. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Hello. Hi, Vicky. Are you there yet? Yes. I just got off the subway. I'm almost there. Sorry, I'm late. That's no problem. I just wanted to tell you I'm inside. Where are you? On the second floor. Should I come to the second floor, or do you want to come down to the first floor? Come upstairs. What? Oh, can you hear me? Okay, I said come to the second floor. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from dinner. What do you want to do? I don't know for sure. When you get here, we'll talk about it. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Craig, what do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Boston University. That's a good school. What do you study? I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. How long have you been studying English? More than six years. That's a long time. Yeah, I started to learn English when I was in high school. No wonder your English is so good. Actually, it's not that good. I can read, but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chance to practice. I see. Talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. I'm having a party tonight at my apartment. You should come. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Hi, Kim. Hey, Sean. Good to see you again. How have you been? Okay. I didn't sleep much last night, though. I stayed up until two a.m. studying for an exam. I was up late last night too. The semester is almost over. I've had exams all week. Are you going back to California after you graduate? 
I think so. After I graduate, I'll probably go back home and try to get a job. Do you know where you'd like to work? Not yet, but I want to be an English translator. That'd be really cool. I'd like to be a translator too, but I don't think my English is good enough. Don't worry about that. Your English is better than most of my classmates. Thanks. Where are you going now? I'm going to study at the library. I have to take an exam tomorrow. Me too. How late does the library stay open? I think it's open until eleven thirty. Okay. Good luck. You too. Hello. Hi, Angela. It's Dan. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good. I called you yesterday. Did you get my message? Yes, I was taking a shower when you called. I saw that you called, and I tried to call you back, but I think your phone was off. No problem. I wanted to remind you that my friend is getting married next week. You're still coming to the wedding with me, right? Oh, is that next week? Yes. Did you forget? No, of course not. I already bought them a present. That's good. I want to invite Megan also. Next time you see her, can you tell her for me? Sure. Does she know your friend? Yes. I think they might have gone to the same college or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how they know each other. Are we all going to drive together? Yes. I'll pick you up first, and then we'll go get Megan. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes, today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be another thirty minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be twenty-five dollars for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here. Hey Jane, did you get the mail yet? Yes, I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember. Let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? Sure. What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up any time. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure. When? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay? That's fine. How are you feeling? I still have a cold. Still? It's been over a week now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. I started feeling this way last Monday. Are you feeling any better? A little. I took some medicine this morning, and I feel a little better now. What's wrong? I have a bad cough. Did you go see the doctor yet? Not yet. I might go tomorrow. I'm going to the drugstore now. Can I get you anything? Yes. If it's not too much trouble, would you get me some tissues? Sure. Anything else? No. That's it. Okay. I'll be back in about an hour. 
If you think of anything else you need, give me a call. Thanks. Hi, James. It's good to see you again. Hi, Barbara. Are you here for work? Yes. Is Steve with you? No, I'm here alone. Steve couldn't come this time. How long will you be staying? Four days. I'm going back on Friday. My brother and I are getting together for dinner. Do you want to come with us? Yeah, that would be nice. I have a meeting in an hour. I can meet you afterwards if that's okay. The meeting shouldn't last long. That's fine. Who is your meeting with? The Boston Insurance Company. I'll call you when it's over. Okay. Can I use your phone? I left mine in the car, and I want to call them to get directions. Sure. Here you go. Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Pam. Hey, Pam. What's up? Not much. Where are you? I'm in the car driving home. When you get home, will you send me an email with directions to the party tonight? Sure. No problem. When do you think you'll get home? I don't know. Maybe in about 30 minutes or so. There's a lot of traffic. I have to go out soon. Can you just send me a text message with the address instead? I'll do that as soon as I get home. Thanks a lot. Drive carefully. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Bye. Hello? Hi, Sharon. It's George again. What time do you think you'll get to the party tonight? Sorry. What did you say? Hello? Can you hear me? I said, what time do you think you'll be getting to the party? Sorry. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? No, not very clearly. It's really noisy here. It might be my cell phone. I don't think I have very good reception. Oh, that's okay. Can I call you right back? Okay. Ed, what should we do today? I've been studying all week. I'd like to exercise. Me too. Let's go to the gym. Good idea. What are we going to do there? We can lift weights or play basketball. I like to play basketball. Are you good at it? Not really, but I like to play. I used to play a lot when I was in school, but now there's no time. I know what you mean. I used to play soccer a lot. Do you think we can play soccer there? No, there's not enough room. I think it's better if we play outside. Okay. Maybe we can go play soccer later this afternoon. It's too cold outside today. Let's wait until the weather gets a little warmer. Okay. Anthony, are you okay? I'm okay now, but I got into a car accident this morning. Were you hurt? No, but my neck is still a little sore. What happened? I wasn't paying attention, and I hit a car that stopped in front of me. Were the people in the other car all right? Yes, they're fine. I wasn't going very fast. Were you wearing a seat belt? Yes. Did the police come? Yeah. I called them on my cell phone right after it happened. Do you want me to drive you home? No, I need to go get my car fixed this afternoon. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Doctor. How are you feeling? I don't feel good. What's bothering you? I have a stomach ache and a headache. Where does it hurt? Here. Do you have a fever? No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me look at your throat. Open your mouth. Your throat's red. Does it hurt? Yes, it's sore. When did it start to feel this way? Last week. I think you have a virus. 
It might be the flu. I'm going to give you a prescription for some medicine. Thank you. Try to get some rest, and be sure to drink lots of water and orange juice. Hello, Marriott Hotel. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to make a reservation. Just a moment. Okay. For what date? July 25th. How many nights will you be staying? Two nights. What's the room rate? Seventy-five dollars a night, plus tax. Would you like me to reserve a room for you? Yes, please. Your name? Nancy Anderson. Miss Anderson, how will you be paying? Visa. Card number, please. Four one nine eight two two eight nine three three eight eight two two eight. Expiration date? One nine two thousand and twelve. Okay, you're all set. We'll see you on the twenty fifth. Kevin, what would you like to do? I don't know. Maybe watch TV. That's a good idea. We're going shopping later, so I think you should rest for a while. I don't think I want to go any more. What do you mean? I thought you said we were going shopping. I know, but I changed my mind. I'm too tired. Well, I still have a lot of stuff to buy. When do you think we'll go? Maybe tonight. Okay. Would you mind if I use your phone? Sorry, I don't have signal. Are you kidding? I usually have really good reception here. My phone is very old and it doesn't work very well. What if I take it outside? Yes, that's fine. It works well outside. Andrew, would you like to play a game? Okay. What kind of game? Let's play cards. Do you know how to play blackjack? Yes, that's an easy game. I don't want to play that right now. Okay. Do you remember how to play poker? I think so, but you're going to have to explain the rules to me again. Okay. Look at this piece of paper. It has all the rules on it. Okay. Yes, I remember now. I think the last time we played this game, you won and I lost. Yes, that was fun. Okay, let's play. But this time, I don't want to bet money. Okay, we won't bet. We'll just play for fun. Angela, come in. Happy birthday. Thanks. I can't believe you remembered that. Well, I have a calendar in my computer. It helps me remember things like that. What are you up to? I'm reading a book my cousin gave me for my birthday. Let me see. Oh, I have this book at home. I want to give you a present too. Wow, it's a guitar. I already have one, but I like this one better. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know how to play the guitar? Yeah, I know how to play. My father taught me when I was young. Will you play it now? I want to listen to some music. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah, I've heard that one. I could sing that song when I was in middle school. It's an old one. It makes me feel old. When I was in college, they used to play it on the radio all the time. Good evening. Hi. Do you have any vacancies tonight? Yes. The rate is fifty-five dollars. Do the rooms have internet access? We have wireless. If you have a computer, you can use the wireless network for an additional five dollars. Okay, I'd like a room, please. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? Non-smoking. How will you be paying? Visa. Here you are. How many people? Two. Would you like a king-size bed or two double beds? King size, please. You're in room two thirty-seven. 
It's on the second floor. Here's your key. Sign here, please. What time is checkout? 11.30. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to send this package to California. Would you like to send it overnight or by regular mail? How much is it to send it overnight? Twenty dollars. And by regular mail? Twelve dollars. I'd like it to get there tomorrow. Please fill out this form. When you are finished, come back to this window. Okay. I think I'm done. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. I'd also like to mail this letter. Do you need to buy stamps? Yes. A book of stamps costs three dollars, so that'll be twenty-three dollars for everything. Oh, I forgot my wallet in my car. I'll be right back. Patrick, why didn't you call me last night? I was worried about you. Sorry, I was sick. I went to bed early. What's wrong? I had a cough, and my eyes were really dry. Are you better now? Yes, I'm feeling a lot better. Much better than yesterday. Do you have allergies? Yes. Last time I went to the doctor, he did some tests and told me I have allergies. It gets worse in the spring. What time did you wake up this morning? Around 9.30. Are you going to work today? No, I think I'll just stay home and watch TV. I can work from home today. Good. Get some rest, and I'll bring over some food later. Thanks. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? www.sun.com how can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular, and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you, too. Email me next week, and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken, so I can't send you email right now. Can I call you? Sure. My number is 233 288 Two three two eight. What are you listening to? I'm listening to the radio. I know that. Who are they playing? Guess. I think it's the Beatles, right? That's right. How did you know that? In my country, everyone knows who they are. They're famous. Really? Of course. My parents saw them at a concert a long time ago. Did you know that they're from England? Yes, of course. What kind of music do you usually listen to? I listen to everything, but my favorite is pop. I see. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I like her, too. She's got a great voice. Hello, miss. Do you need a taxi? Yes. Do you have any luggage? Just these two suitcases. Okay. I'll put them in the back for you. Where are you going? The Comfort Inn. I think there are two in Boston. Which one are you going to? The one downtown. Is this your first time in Boston? No, I've been here many times. I come here for work all the time. Do you know how long it'll take? It shouldn't take long. Probably about 15 minutes. Wow. It looks like the traffic is really bad. Yeah. There might be an accident up ahead. Okay. Then stop at the next intersection. I'm going to get out there and take the subway. 
Are you hungry? No. Why? We've been driving a long time. I think we'd better find some place to eat soon. No, I'm okay. We're late, so we'd better not stop. We've passed that same store three times already. I think we're lost. We should ask someone for directions. We're not lost. I've never gone this way before. Do you know where you're going? Yes, this road goes through town. It's faster than the highway. Okay. Would you mind driving a little slower, please? Sure. No problem. Did you see that sign back there? I think this is a one way street. No, I didn't see that. I'm going to have to turn around. You can't turn around here. I think you should let me drive. I think you're right. I'm getting tired. Adam, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can't find my purse. Can you help me? No problem. I'll help you look for it. Thanks. What color is it? It's black. Did you look in the kitchen? Yes, I already looked there. I'll look in the living room. Did you find it? No, it's not in there. When was the last time you saw it? I had it when I went to the library this morning. Do you think you might have left it there? Maybe. I'll call the library and ask them if anyone found it. Wait, is this it? Yes, that's it. That's my purse. Thanks for helping me find it. Excuse me, will you take a picture of us? Sure. This is a really nice camera. Thanks. My parents gave it to me. How do you use it? You press this button here. Come a little closer. Wait, that's too close. Move a little to the left. Okay, stay right there. Do you mean here? Yes, that's good. Oh, I can't get it to work. You need to hold down the button for about three seconds. Okay, I got it. Are you ready? Yes. Smile. Hi, Tracy. What's going on? Hi, Thomas. I'm waiting in line to buy a DVD player. The line is too long. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I think you're right. They're going to close soon. Let's go get some coffee. Okay, wait a minute. I have to get something out of my purse. Will you hold this for me? Sure. Oops. What happened? I dropped your calculator. Is it broken? I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No, I don't think it's broken. The button came off, though. I can fix it. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I do that all the time. If it is broken, I have another one in my car. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay. I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh, can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones in the supermarket? Yes, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Hello? Hi. Are you still up? Yes. You sound tired. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. It's been a really long day. Do you have time to get some coffee with me later? I have something I want to talk to you about. No, sorry, not today. I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh. What are you going to do tomorrow? My mother in law is coming over, so I have to get up early and clean the house. I see. Are you free tomorrow? Yes, in the afternoon. I have to finish something I'm working on, but I'll be free after 3 30. Do you want to get together after you finish work? Do you think you'll have time? Yes. My mother in law will be leaving here around 2. Hey, I just talked to Jim. What did he say? He said he had to cancel the meeting this afternoon. Oh, I see. Is there a problem? No, it's not a big deal. He and I were supposed to talk to some new customers today. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. This has been happening quite a bit recently. That's strange. I wonder why. His wife has been sick, so sometimes he has to go home early to take care of her. I see. How's work been going? Things are slow right now. Would you mind if I borrow your phone? Mine's out of batteries and I have to call my boss to tell him about this. Okay. Let me go get it. It's in the car. Hello? Hi, John. Sorry for calling so late. I hope I didn't wake you up. Actually, I was just finishing some work. I haven't gone to bed yet. Did you hear Bill got fired yesterday? No, I didn't hear that. Are you sure? Yeah, Sarah told me this afternoon. She was pretty upset about it. That's too bad. Bill's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. Why did they fire him? She didn't say. I see. Well, if you talk to Sarah again, tell her there's a job opening at my company. Bill can have an interview this week if he wants. Oh, thank you so much. I'll call her and tell her. Hi, Jim. Hi, Karen. You look upset. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything all right? Well, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's been bothering me since that day. Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes, I've never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Dr. Allen. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. Betty, are you and John still dating? Yeah, things are going really well. Where did you meet him? We were sitting at the same table, and he asked to borrow my pen. Wow, that's a nice story. I was telling Jim about it the other day. He thought it was pretty romantic. Do you two have plans for tonight? Yes, I think we're going to rent a movie. Have you seen anything good lately? I saw Spider Man the other day. I've heard that's a really funny movie. Are you kidding? That movie's not funny. It's sad. I was crying at the end. You're really sensitive, aren't you? I guess so. Maybe that's why I can't find a girlfriend. Hi, Peter. Can I talk to you for a moment? I just heard the cookie factory downtown is going out of business. Where did you hear that? Sarah told me. I'm not sure that's true. I haven't heard anything about it. She said they have already started to lay people off. 
Doesn't your father work there? Yes, I'm really worried he might get laid off. He just started to work there about three months ago. What do you think I should do? I talked to your father. Yeah, but if there was something wrong, I don't think he'd tell me. He doesn't like to upset me, but I really would like to know what's going on. So what are you going to do? Aren't you good friends with the president of that company? Yes, we used to work together at a different company about five years ago. Maybe you could call him and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. It's pretty late now, but I'll call him in the morning. Okay, thanks so much. Wow, I'm really getting fat. You don't look fat. Yes, but I am. I've gained ten pounds in the last two months. Look at my stomach. How much do you weigh? I think about a hundred and seventy pounds. What kind of foods do you eat? I usually have pasta for dinner. Sometimes I get takeout or fast food if I don't have enough time to cook. I was reading a diet book the other day. It said if you eat meat and nothing else, you'll lose weight quickly. Wow, does that work? I don't know, but someone told me they tried it and lost twenty pounds. That sounds good, but I'm not sure how long I could do that. I know. Once you start eating vegetables and bread again, you'll probably start gaining weight. Well, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Who's the author? I can't remember. It's not that popular anymore. When I get home, I'll check and give you a call. Hello. Hi, Sarah. It's James. Hey, James. I can't talk now. Can I call you back later? Sure. Is there a problem? I'm late for work, and my car isn't working, so I need to find someone to take me to work. I can take you. Oh, really? Thank you. That would help a lot. Do you need me to pick you up after work, also? Yes, if it's not too much trouble. It's no problem. I'm leaving my house now. I'll be right there. Okay. I'll wait for you in front of my apartment building. Do you know what's wrong with your car? I'm not exactly sure. I think there's a problem with the engine. Okay, I'll have a look when I get there. I know a lot about cars. When I was younger, my father and I used to fix old cars. Hey, what have you been doing today? Nothing, just watching TV. I'm really bored. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do either. I didn't do anything today except clean my house. I know. I was planning to go to the mall today with one of my friends, but it snowed so much we couldn't go anywhere. I hope it snows all night because I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Do you know anyone who has a camera? I want to take a picture of all this snow. No, I don't know anyone who has a camera. Have you seen Sarah today? I think she might have one. No, she hasn't been around all day. She said she had something important to do today. Oh, where did she go? Nobody knows. I called her roommate, and she doesn't know either. Mandy, did you know Heather called you? No. When did she call? Two hours ago, I think. Two hours ago? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Sorry, I forgot. What did she say? She said she's waiting for you at her sister's place. Okay, I was going to cook dinner first, but I don't think I have enough time now. I'll just warm up some leftovers in the microwave. Okay. If she calls again, tell her I'm going to be late. Okay, no problem. This is very important. Don't forget. Don't worry, I won't forget. Actually, would you please hand me my phone? I think I should give her a call now. She's probably wondering where I am. Sure, I'll get it for you.
I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? I thought you went shopping yesterday. I did, but an old friend called me last night and invited me to his birthday party. I need to buy a gift for him. I see. What are you going to get for him? I really have no idea what he likes. I haven't seen him in a long time. What do you think? Maybe a cake. Well, that's a good idea, but I think I should probably get him something else, like something he can wear. How about a sweater? I saw a really nice one in the mall the other day. Maybe we can go there and take a look. Okay. What store was it in? It was at Macy's. I think they're having a sale this weekend. Oh, that's a really nice store. I like the clothes there. Hey, Diane. What are you doing here? Hi, Tim. How are you? I'm waiting for a friend. I heard you're going to graduate this summer. Is that true? Yes. If everything goes all right, I'll be getting my bachelor's degree in August. Then I need to start looking for a job. I had to do that last year. It wasn't easy. Do you have any job offers? No, not yet. I sent out a lot of resumes, but I didn't receive many responses. It's pretty hard to find a job right now. What's your major? Psychology. That was my major when I started college, but I switched to engineering after the first year. I think it's easier for engineers to find a job. I'm not sure about that. It took me about three months to find a job. I finally was able to get a job after I put my resume on one of those job websites. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. If I can't find a job, I'll probably go back to school to get my master's degree. Hello. Hey, Gary. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a long time. What's happening? Well, I don't know if you heard. I just moved into a new apartment in L.A. No, I heard you were thinking about moving, but I didn't know you'd already found a place. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Do you have any roommates? No, not this time. It's a big change for me, cause I've never lived alone. Don't you think you'll be lonely? Not really. I have two friends who live in the same building. We all had dinner together last night. Are they students also? No, they're not students, but there are a lot of students living in the building. Sounds like a nice place. Yeah, I think it's a good environment for learning English. Well, I'm glad to hear everything worked out. You should come out here and visit me sometime. There's even a pool. That would be nice. I'll think about it. Justin, have you found a girlfriend yet? No, not yet. What about Jenny? She has a boyfriend. Oh, I thought they broke up. No, they're still together. How about that girl from work you were telling me about last year? Who, Emily? She's married now. She got married last month. I see. It seems like everyone our age is married. Yeah, it's not easy. Is there anyone you're interested in? There is one girl I like who lives in my building. I talk to her a lot because she's also studying English. What's she like? She's really nice. She moved here from Texas about three months ago. What does she do? She's an accountant. That's a good job. She must be really smart. Have you asked her out yet? Actually, we're going to dinner on Friday. Good luck. Hi, Jason. Sorry to bother you. I have a question for you. Okay. What's up? I've been having a problem with my computer. I know you're an engineer, so I thought you might be able to help me. I see. What's the problem? I have a file that I can't open for some reason. What type of file is it? 
It's a Word document I've been working on. I need to finish it by tomorrow. Were you able to open it before, on the computer you're using now? Yes. I was working on it last night, and everything was fine. But this morning I couldn't open the file. Do you think your computer might have a virus? No. I checked, and there weren't any. Okay. I'm not sure what's wrong. If it's possible, email the file to me, and I'll see if I can get it to open. Okay. I'll do that when I get home. Are you going to be around tonight? Yeah. I'll be home after 8. Send it to me when you get a chance, and I'll call you later. Hi, George. Do you know how to get downtown? Sure. Why are you going there? I want to buy a new computer. Okay. Are you driving? Yes. Go straight down this road. When you get to the second light, take a left. Then get on the highway and take exit 52. That sounds really complicated. Can you tell me again? Which road do I take first? You go down this road. Then at the second light, turn left. That road is Main Street. Okay. I think I've got it now. Why are you buying a new computer anyway? Didn't you just get one a few months ago? Yes, but it doesn't work anymore. Where did you buy it? At Walmart. I think your computer should still be under warranty. You can bring it back to them and they'll fix it for free. I think you're right. I didn't think about that. I should go talk to them about it. Where's the closest Walmart? It's about two blocks from here. I have to go there to get some stuff now anyway. Do you want to follow me? Sure. John, did you see the news today? No. What happened? There was a big earthquake in San Diego. Oh, my goodness. The president was on the news talking about it earlier. Was anyone hurt? I think they said two people were killed. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I can't believe you hadn't heard about it. They were talking about it on CNN all day. Oh, I don't watch TV that often. Don't you watch the news? No, I usually read the news online, but I haven't had time to turn on my computer today. What's your favorite sport? I like basketball. I watch the games on TV all the time. Who's your favorite team? The Boston Celtics. They're really good this year, aren't they? Yes. Do you like them? Yes. Everyone around here does. Do you think they'll win the championship this year? It's possible. They have some really good players. Did you watch the game last night? A little. Not the whole thing. I watched the second half, though, and I saw some of the highlights online. It was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know who they're playing tomorrow night? I think they're playing L.A. That's going to be a tough game. L.A. has a good team. Hi, Liz. Are you working on your web page now? No, I'm still waiting for you to send me that image file for the home page. You mean you didn't get it? I sent it to you over an hour ago. Let me check. It's going to take a second because I have to start up my computer. Okay. Did you get it? One second. I just have to open my web browser and check my Hotmail account. Okay. Okay. Here it is. I got it. How do I find the web page? I tried to search for it on Yahoo, but I couldn't find it. Don't use Yahoo. Use Google. I tried that also, and it didn't work. If you go to Google and search for my name, you should be able to find it. Okay. Let me try that. I see it now. Hey, Michael. I'm tired. Would you mind driving for a while? Sorry. I would like to, but I don't know how to drive. Really? You don't have a license? 
I thought everyone had a license. No, I've lived in cities all my life, and when I'm at home, I usually take the subway or bus. I see. Do you think you'll ever learn how to drive? Yes, I plan to buy a car next year. I think you need one in the U.S. Actually, now that I think about it, a lot of people in cities here take the bus. Well, I'd like to travel more. I've been here for a few months already, but I feel like I haven't seen anything yet. How are you going to learn to drive? Do you want me to teach you? No, I wouldn't want to trouble you. I've already signed up for a class near my house. It starts next month. Thomas, your English is so good. How did you learn it? Well, in my country, everyone has to take English starting in the first grade. I've been taking English courses for twelve years now. Wow, that's interesting. I remember when we took that trip last year and visited your family. It seemed like there weren't many people who could speak with me in English. Oh, that's because they don't speak English that much. But they speak it in school, right? Maybe they just didn't like me, so they didn't want to talk to me. No, actually, they liked you a lot. They told me they thought you were very nice. They are just shy. They're not used to talking with foreigners. I remember when I first came to the U.S., I was really nervous about speaking with people. I see. I thought there were lots of Americans teaching English in your country. Yes, that's true. There are probably twice as many now as there were five years ago, but they are mostly in cities. My family lives in the country. I wonder why. Personally, I prefer the country to the city. It's so quiet and peaceful. If I were to teach, I would want to teach in the country. Do you think you would want to teach some day? I know the schools around my town are looking for teachers, so if you want, I can call them and get more information. No, I don't think so. I would need to stay there for a year, and I don't think I could take that much time off work. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I think you would be a really great teacher. Dorothy, what are your plans for Christmas? Oh yes, it's almost Christmas, isn't it? I'm not sure what I'll be doing then. Well, if you don't have any plans, your family could have dinner at my house. That's very nice of you. Thanks. Have you finished your shopping yet? No, I still have to do that. I think I'll go to the mall this weekend. It's going to be really crowded at the mall. You should shop online. You're right. My family loves to read, so I can probably get them all presents from Amazon.com. What do you think you'll get your wife? Probably a romance novel. It seems like she's always reading one of those. Don't you think you should get her something a little more expensive, like jewelry or maybe a new computer? Maybe you're right. It's hard buying gifts. I think my wife has everything she wants. Maybe I should just ask her. Martin, who are you going to vote for? You mean for president? Yes. I'm not sure yet. You should make up your mind soon. The election is next month. Yes, I know. I hear about it every day on the news. I'm going to vote for Obama. I think he's a good choice, but I think McCain would make a good president also. I know they're both good. It's hard to decide. McCain is older, but he has more experience. Obama seems to have a lot of good ideas. But some people say he wants to raise taxes. I heard he wants to lower taxes. It's hard to know what the truth is. That's the reason I really don't pay attention to politics. Yes, it can be frustrating, but it's important and it's interesting to watch. Hey, John, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. What's up? I wanted to let you know about a book club I joined a couple of months ago. I know you do a lot of reading, so I thought you might want to come with me next month. Oh, that sounds like fun. When does the group meet? 
usually the last Saturday of the month at 9.30 in the evening. Is that too late for you? No, I think that's okay. What do you talk about in the group? Well, every month we choose a new book, and then during the next meeting we discuss it. What book are you reading now? The Kite Runner. I've heard that's a good book. What's it about? It is a good book. I'm almost finished. The book is about a boy who grows up in Afghanistan during the 1980s. It's called The Kite Runner because the main character takes part in a kite flying competition. That sounds really interesting. I'd love to come. Okay, great. The next meeting isn't for another two weeks, so you still have time to read the book.